Is there any evidence between high LDL and heart attacks? Yeah, well, you're asking a simple question. <laughs> it opens the doors to a million rooms, which open doors to another million rooms. And you find yourself in the 10 millionth room and you think, how did I get here and what am I talking about? It's quite complicated. All right. I mean, uh, when I give talks on this, I say to people, first of all, you have to understand what LDL is. You have to understand what cholesterol is, because otherwise you're just talking gibberish, essentially. Like cholesterol is a molecule. It has a chemical formula. It's found in, in human beings. 25% of our brain is made up of cholesterol, for example. Most of our hormones, like estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, blah, 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 Vitamin D, that, that is cholesterol. They very slightly adapt it. So it's hugely important, the substance, all right, in our bodies. But it can't float around in the bloodstream because it's not uh, soluble in water, and neither is fat. So in order to transport these things around the body, you have to wrap them up in a little molecule called a lipoprotein, which is, if you like, a taxi. So the LDL is a, is a taxi that carries cholesterol and a certain amount of fat and other things around the body. And so when you talk about LDL cholesterol, that's a sort of meaningless term because it's not cholesterol, it's LDL. It'd be like calling, anyway, the terminology is complete nonsense, all right? But it adds to the confusion. It took me about a year to understand what are they talking about, all right? When someone says cholesterol, what do they mean? You know, and they mean anything by it, actually. So you have to be careful. And everyone says, oh, my cholesterol level has gone up. And I go, I wonder what you are actually talking about. What did they tell you? What did they say? You know, it's like, it is, it's, it's just a catch-all meaningless term. But LDL is the one form of lipoprotein that is supposed to cause heart disease. Now, there are many different lipoproteins. There's about, last time I looked, it was 47, all right? And you think, well, this area just becomes complicated. So, But LDL is the fraction of lipoprotein that if it's raised, it's supposed to cause heart disease. How it's supposed to cause it? Now, you want to go into that. We are in the 7,000th room of nonsense, all right? However, so what happens um, is you, you, your liver makes lipoproteins, all right? That's where they're made. The liver does all sorts of amazing stuff. Um, but it doesn't make LDL. It makes VLDL, which is very low density lipoprotein. And it packs fats and cholesterol into this within the liver, and then it sends it out into the bloodstream. And then as it travels around the body, it loses its fat content, mainly, till it becomes more high, highly concentrated with cholesterol. And then about 98% of that is reabsorbed back into the liver. So there's a certain reserve that floats around in your blood all the time. Now, what makes your VLDL go up would be the interesting first question, right? And the answer to that is carbohydrates make your VLDL go up. Uh, why is that? Because if you have too many carbohydrates in your diet, your body can only store so many, and then it has to convert the carbohydrates into fats, and it does that in the liver. So the liver converts carbohydrate into or glucose into fats. That makes the LDL molecule, well, it packs it into the VLDL molecule and it sends it out. Fat in the diet has no impact on VLDL because it isn't remotely the same system. It's just, it, it, this is another part. If you eat fat, it doesn't actually go into your liver. If you eat fat, it's directly absorbed from your gut, and then it goes directly from your gut through a little channel called the thoracic duct into your vein, vena cava. And and, and this is a huge li lipoprotein called a chylomicron. It's still, everyone's going, oh my God, chylomicron. But a chylomicron is, say, 20 times the size of, it's like a a beach ball rather than a tennis ball or something of that sort of size. It travels around the body and it loses its fat. And then what's left, the tiny little remnant is absorbed into your liver. So fat actually has no impact on VLDL. And VLDL is the only source of LDL. And yet when people say, if you eat too much fat, your LDL level will go up. And I go, okay, talk me through the process. And he'll go, what are you talking about? I said, well, you can't make statements like this without there being some evidence behind them. And there is no evidence for this. And then you people are saying, the question you ask is this interesting one is, there are some people called lean mass hyper-responders. All right, now, 15 years ago, I was discussing this with Dave Feldman, right? Before anyone else knew that he was on this sort of track. And uh, and I didn't, I said, look, I understand this happens, but I, I disagree with your mechanism of action, all right? 
Um, but what happens with some people, and it's unknown why, there's a small proportion, and I don't know what that proportion is, who are quite slim. They don't, they're not fat at all. They eat a very high, or they eat a very low carb diet. Quite what else they eat is a bit unclear sometimes. And their LDL, your LDL goes up quite dramatically in some cases. And then people might say, well, 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 okay, so you're talking nonsense. So fat obviously does make your LDL go up. I said, I said, no, I said, that's, it does, but it's not through any sort of mechanism you were, you were thinking of, all right? But what's actually happening in this case is because most of the, you're eating a high fat diet, the fat is just traveling through your body, getting absorbed by your cells that need it. It's not going into the liver at all, all right? So the liver has no need to send out VLDLs because it doesn't need to get rid of this excess carbohydrate that's been turned into fat. So the VLDL level drops down, all right? And you think, well, that would make the LDL level drop down. No, that's not what happens at all. Because what happens is, is the body needs the LDL. Well, it doesn't need the LDL. It needs the protein attached to the LDL to stick it onto the side of a VLDL. Because this is like a, it's like an identification thing. They have these really complicated proteins stuck to the side of these uh, proteins that are stuck to the side of lipoproteins that identify them as that lipoprotein so the body can recognize them. So that protein is, and that's a really difficult thing to make. It's a hugely complicated protein. So the, the liver, rather than making new ones, says, I'll just use the ones I've already made earlier. And I'll take them off the LDL, stick them onto the VLDL, send them out, lose my fat, so that churns round and round. If the liver's not making VLDLs, it doesn't need the protein from the LDL. So it doesn't bother reabsorbing it. So the LDL level goes up because the body's like, well, I don't need you, if you like, to make my VLDLs. And if that sounds complicated, I know when I say to people, they start blanking over. I just say, look, take it, look at it this way. The, the reason why the LDL goes up is not because of the high fat intake. The reason why the LDL goes up is because of the low carbohydrate intake, right? It's the exact opposite thing. That's why it's going up. And then people say, oh, but that leads to high LDL. So that means that if you don't eat carbohydrates, then you'll, you'll die of heart disease. <laughs> no. It's like, no. And they've done, they've done the recent studies on people to say, is there evidence that if you have these lean mass hyper responders, and their LDLs are going up like three folds, say from five to 15 or whatever it is, or three to nine or whatever that level is. Has, does that have any measurable effect on the progression of the disease in the arteries that we call heart disease? And the answer is no. 